But here's the bottom line. As Joseph would have asked that question, perhaps, of the Lord, Lord, what are you doing in my life? Here's his answer. I am making of you who you need to be for when you need to be it. And some of that involved mountaintop experiences of great dreams and prosperity and blessings and, and honor. And some of it were valley experiences of despair and desolation, feeling forgotten by God and forgotten by humanity and not knowing where anything's coming. But in the midst of it all was the lesson. God is making of you who you need to be for when you need to be it. Now, Naomi, Naomi, pleasantness might have asked in the midst of her husband dying, her children dying, losing her house, losing her field, losing her husband's job, uh, turning into a beggar woman. What is the Lord doing to me? And the answer would have been, he's reshaping your life to fit his destiny. Because God had a plan, a plan for King David to come and a plan not only for King David, but for the Messiah to come. And that was made possible through some very difficult times that reshaped the life and future of Naomi. Naomi. And when you read in Mark chapter 16 about the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus appeared and sent a message out. He said, I want you to go tell the disciples and Peter that I've been resurrected. I wonder how Peter handled that. Was Peter thinking, uh, how am I going to handle this with Jesus? He's now resurrected and I'm the one who betrayed him. Uh, or at least three times denied knowing him, denied him. I, I don't know how Peter handled that, but I do know how Jesus handled it when he saw Peter. He loved him. He commissioned him. He told him to look after the sheep of Jesus. He helped him fish. Jesus was the kind, forgiving, caring, good shepherd to Peter that he wanted Peter to be with everybody else. So here's the question. God, what are you doing in my life? Peter might have asked. And God's answer is pretty clear. I'm forgiving you and I'm giving you purpose because I love you. Now, here is the question that I would have had if I were Paul. God, what are you doing in my life? And the answer is quite plain. I am enlightening you so you may enlighten others. And so Paul is enlightened by God to the truth, to God's truth, so that Paul can enlighten others to that. John got glimpses unlike anyone else. And the key is John was told, write this down. If John had said to God, God, what are you doing in my life? The answer could well have been, I'm meeting you privately so you can proclaim my truths publicly.